hardy bunch of Crawley Town fans away to our left-hand side who are ready to welcome the two sides out onto the field. And here they come now. Crawley Town closest to us, all in red this afternoon. Colchester United in their traditional blue and white striped shirts, blue shorts and blue socks. And it's a good opportunity for me now to bring in my summariser this afternoon. It is, of course, Ken Blackmore. Can we... We touched on this in the build-up as well, but it is what Crawley feel a, a very, very good time to be playing Colchester this afternoon. Yeah, that's right, Gary, and obviously uh, he's got a really strong team out this afternoon, um, Scott has, and looking forward perhaps for them to be, you know, bossing Colchester today, especially as uh, the ground staff did a great job, didn't they, to get this game on. commentary it's going to be played the week commencing the 8th of January but keep your eyes on the Crawley Town website for actual confirmed dates and times I'm assuming it's going to be the Tuesday night or the Wednesday night Ken to be yes. honest well they're playing on the Sunday aren't they Gary so we were talking about it on the way up in the in, in the minibus it's Callan Gordon a little bit of space on the right hand side decent crossing Campbell comes to meet it and doesn't quite get on it then it evaded Nick Cerullo who's chasing to keep it in on that far side doesn't quite do enough three o'clock next Saturday which I guess from a Crawley perspective is good it's not the longest away journey to make today but the possibility of some recovery is good here's Kellen Gordon after a great ball by Campbell he's inside the box he pulls it back Kelly gets his angle slightly wrong it's the first real threat that Crawley oh. have shown in going forward it was a great ball over the top by Campbell and a great ball in from Kellen Gordon found Liam Kelly in a little bit of space but a Crawley town midfielder got his angle slightly wrong but it's the first real threat Ken 21 and a half minutes on the clock and Kelly just sort of drags it wide of the post. Here's Maguire. Forward it goes to Campbell. Five minutes of the regulation, 45 to go in the first half here in Essex. Still goalless. Dion Conroy on the ball, just jogs nonchalantly towards the halfway line to Williams and now on to Gordon on this near side. Plays it infield to Kelly. Releases Will Wright down this right-hand side. It's beyond Reed. Can he find the right ball in? It's been cleared, but only back as far as right. And back to Kelly, and Kelly scores! Low to the goalkeeper's left-hand side. Well, he missed one very similar to that after 22 minutes. <laughs> yep. But Liam Kelly suddenly has his second goal of the season. Will Wright got a little bit fortunate. He played the ball in, it came back to him. But then he rolled it in field and found Liam Kelly. And right-footed into the bottom corner, beyond the left-hand glove of the goalkeeper, Goodman, and into the back of the net. And inside the last five minutes of the first half, Ken, Crawley take the lead. It's Colchester nil. Crawley Town won. It's a great build down, up down this right-hand side, wasn't it, Gary? Two or three passes, and then, as you say, the ball into the box. The first one was uh, was, was defended. The second one straight, straight to Kelly. And, uh, he, as you say, he had just side-footed it virtually into the corner of the uh, left-hand corner of the goalkeeper. Yeah. So um, Tremendous yep. finish. It was. It's a great free kick. It's about 10 yards inside the Colchester half, very tight on the touchline. Hammers it long up towards the edge of the box, and it's watched all the way by Luca Aspie Hammond and the referee. Mr Durkin blows the half-time whistle here in Essex and there's some boos ringing around the ground but it's not for Crawley Town. No. They lead by one goal to nil. A couple of chances early on for the home side, Ken. Samson to lead with a couple of chances where it fizzed across the box and he couldn't quite apply the finishing touch or he couldn't get it on target anyway. And then Crawley came a little bit more back into the game yeah. and get their just rewards after 41 minutes with a very cool finish from Liam Kelly. Yeah. Crawley looking to close in on a second away victory of the season. And it's Liam Kelly's goal that divides the two sides. Crawley all in red. Colchester in their blue and white striped shirts, blue shorts and blue and white socks. The home side get the game for the second half underway. You can hear the, the howls of derision yeah. from the Colchester fans around us. They're not best pleased with that. The ball forward by Ashby Hammond. Egbo wins it. Gordon tries to get on it. Kelly. Plays it out to that right-hand side. Now, Kellen Gordon, right-hand side of the box. Drills it across, takes a deflection. Sarula can't get there. Oh, he can! Off flag side. goes up on the far side. Flag goes up. Yeah, flag went up very, very early on. Yeah. Danilo Orsi thought he'd suddenly got himself into double figures for the season. But the goal is ruled out inside the 63rd minute. Sarula had the initial shot. It did take a little bit of a deflection. In fact, Ken... Hold on a second, Crawley might have a penalty here. Well, I'm a bit confused now because Orsi put the ball into the net. Yeah. And now it's looking very much like Crawley, Crawley are spotting it up 
linesman come round, doesn't he? To, to take a penalty. As if the uh, linesman has come round. As if he's uh, given a penalty to Crawley. Well, I thought he flagged for an offside decision. Can't see what, but perhaps he flagged for a foul or... But in fairness to Orsi, he did go and collect the ball out of the net. Yeah. You know, after, after he put it into the back of the net. And it's looking very much like Danilo Orsi with 64 wow. minutes on the clock. That's unbelievable, Gary. He's going to take this spot kick that this could give a, Crawley... An important spot kick, this, Gary. The second goal that they crave and a little bit of daylight. Right-footed into the roof of the net. None of your Paninkas with Danilo Orsi. No. Smashes it down the middle. He goes into double figures for the season. And Crawley double their lead inside the 64th minute. Danilo Orsi from the spot. And that second away win looks ever closer. Colchester nil. Crawley Town 2, Ken. And right in front of all the away fans. And they're all rushed down the terrace, didn't they, when they when he took the corner. Oh, the, sorry. The, the penalty into the top of the net. And, uh, yeah. They're really pleased now. They're uh, they're celebrating in big style. Approaching 96 and a half minutes played. Taylor's got away from Maguire. He's in on goal here. He's lifted it goalwards. And Taylor has got one back. Yeah, straight from Maguire. Inside a stoppage time. Straight from a goal kick, you Just see. Just a long ball forward. And Taylor suddenly found himself the right side of Maguire. We are inside the 97th minute of the 111 that we're going to have. Yeah. Crawley don't manage to kick their first clean sheet on the road. Taylor adds his ninth goal of the season for Colchester and suddenly the home side have a sniff of getting something from this game. Gladwin, Crawley are very, very nearly there. Maguire plays it forward down this near side. Mitchell reads it though. Referee blows the whistle and Crawley Town pick up their second away win of the season. Wow, wow. Courtesy of goals by Kelly in the first half and Orsi from the spot in the second half. Taylor got one back for the home side inside stoppage time but Crawley do hold on and the 257 fans and the players and anybody connected Crawley will be absolutely delighted that eventually Ken this game got played.